All right, we got the Blue Bloods College Game Time Podcast debuting on Fish Sports YouTube. Make sure you subscribe right now. Fish Sports, subscribe. It's your boy, I'm Trey Smith. And I'm Brandon Holmes. Welcome to Blue Bloods College Game Time, a podcast for the fans, by the fans. Trey, kick it off. What do we got to talk about today, man? Hey, man, I got one question we okay. need to kick around right now. Is SMU, the SMU Mustangs, are they the best team in Texas right now? Oh, that's Go. an easy question. Straight easy question. SMU is definitely the best team in Texas right now. I'm calling it. Some people are going to say Texas A&M. Bye. Don't think so. Some people are going to say UT. Bye. Don't think so. I love Tanner Mordecai. Dark horse. Heisman candidate. Potential winner. He's tearing it up. I love what Sonny Dykes is doing. Um, I think I said his name correct, what he's doing yep. down there at the yep. program, how he's bringing the hometown boys back home. Listen, this is why I say SMU is the best team in Texas, not because of their record, but they're the team that even the casual fan can love. So I'm down with it. I want everybody to get your blue, get your red, hop on a Pony Express, because I mark my words right now. They're beating Cincinnati, and they're going to a New Year Six Bowl. SMU, the best team in Texas. That's my belief. That's my stance, and I'm standing on that. Look, I'll say this. You almost sold me just now. You almost sold me right now in saying that, yes, SMU is the best team in Texas, but not going to happen. They are not the best team in Texas. That title belongs to the Texas A&M Fighting Aggies. They are the number one team in Texas. And I'll tell you right now, any team that's left on a and M schedule better watch out. Hmm. Because since that team upset the number one Alabama Crimson Tide several weeks ago, they're on a whole new level. And I think that SMU versus AM might end in a blowout. But I'll say this. If we were talking about this four or five weeks ago, early in the season, I might give SMU that game. Yeah. I might say that SMU is going to take on and beat the Aggies. But not today, but what I will say is this. SMU is playing on a whole nother level than what we've seen in mm -hmm. really since decades. Decades. The Pony Express. <laughs> since Dickerson and Craig yeah. James were running up and down the field on team. I love this SMU team. I love what Coach Dykes is doing with that program. He's marketing Dallas. He's getting transfers in. He's tapping into that transfer portal. He's recruiting on a level that hasn't been recruited on in decades AJ. as well. And I just like the vibe happening around here, man. I love that a team like SMU right here in our backyard in Dallas, Texas is taking over essentially. Exactly. And even though I don't think they're the best team, objectively speaking, I don't think they're the best team in Texas. I do believe that they've got the best shot at playing in a New Year's Six game come bowl season. But it's all going to come down to what you just said, and that's that game against Cincinnati. Now, they can't overlook Houston. They can't overlook Memphis. Right. But I, if you've been listening to our podcast, I've been saying this for weeks. I am hoping and praying for an it. undefeated SMU versus an undefeated Cincinnati, 10-0 versus 10-0. And who knows? Maybe SMU shocks the world and ends up in the college football playoff. I'm not ready to make that prediction yet, but I do think they've got the best shot at playing in a New Year's Six game. I just I can't give it to them, man. I can't say they're the best team in Texas, bro. You know what? I I, I can I, I I'll let you have that, but I'm telling you right now, I put my money on my boys, the Mustangs. If they meet A and M somehow in the ball game, I'm telling you, I'm expecting A and M to A and M and not do what they're supposed to do. And I believe Ooh. Tanner Mordecai, mark my words, the Heisman Mordecai. finalist, Woo! would take the lead. So yes, to me, SMU best team by far. But I guess we'll see. All right. Well, like we said, subscribe to Fish Sports. It's your boys, Trey Smith. That's B. Holmes. You can follow us on Twitter. Look at the links on the template. And uh, this is the first of many. So stay tuned. We've got stay so tuned, much guys. more to come. You can find our full episode podcast on Apple, on Spotify, on all streaming platforms. It's Blue Bloods College Game Time. Hit us up on Instagram or TikTok at Blue Bloods CGT. And like I said, stay tuned. Subscribe to Fish Sports and you will have more college sports action takes it's for the fans it's by, by the, the fans, fans. let's go down take care of blue bloods peace